Sometimes I daydream about when I was young. I was a very curious child. I always had a million questions about everything. Do trees talk? Where does rain come from? Why do cats have whiskers? Can I be a dog when I grow up? The list was endless. When I meet children in schools or libraries, I see that nothing has changed. Children are as curious as ever. They ask me questions all the time. Lots and lots of questions. And why not? If you don't ask questions, how on earth will you get any answers? How many books do you make in one day? Do you have a pet rabbit? I do. What inspired you to write this book? How many blue caterpillars do you have? Can you draw a horse? What's your favorite book? Are you Stella? Can you write a story about me? How many books have you written? Have you ever touched a snake? How did you learn to draw? Where do your ideas come from? What is your favorite color? Can your cat fly? Mine can. Do you draw with a pencil? Do you have a hamster? I have one. I don't have any questions. I know everything. Where does this story start? Hmm. Let's see. I don't have a hamster or a rabbit, but I do have a goldfish. My favorite color is purple, and sadly, my cat can't fly. Where does a story start? Now that's a good question. A story always starts on a blank white page, like this. If you stare long enough at a blank piece of paper, anything can happen.